Hello everyone, this is Pinai Red Rose, and I have here the Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. This book really is a survival guide. Even though it's been put under the category of humor, this is no joke. This is no joke. Definitely a good cover. The author is serious in regards to the instructions that he has within the book. Here it says, Top 10 Lessons for Surviving a Zombie Attack. 1. Organize before they rise. 2. They feel no fear, why should you? 3. Use your head, cut off theirs. 4. Blades don't need reloading. 5. Idea of protection equals tight clothes, short hair. 6. Get up the staircase, then destroy it. 7. Get out of the car, get onto the bike. 8. Keep moving, keep low, keep quiet, keep alert. 9. No place is safe, only safer. 10. The zombies may be gone, but the threat lives on. Don't be carefree and foolish with your most precious asset, life. This book is your key to survival against the hordes of undead who may be stalking you right now without your even knowing it. The Zombie Survival Guide offers complete protection through trusted, proven tips for safeguarding yourself and your loved ones against the living dead. It is a book that can save your life. This is very interesting. I wonder if the character Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead would agree with what the author has to say in this book. The type of zombies that the survival guide refers to are the type of zombies that are like the ones in The Walking Dead. Here on page 13, it talks about the speed of the zombies. The walking dead tend to move at a slash or limp. Even without injuries or advanced decomposition, their lack of coordination makes for an unsteady stride. Speed is mainly determined by leg length. Taller ghouls have longer strides than their shorter counterparts. Zombies appear to be incapable of running. The fastest have been observed to move at a rate of barely one step per 1.5 seconds. Again, as with strength, the dead's advantage over the living is their tirelessness. Humans who believe they have outrun their undead pursuers might do well to remember the story of the tortoise and the hare. Adding, of course, that in this instant, instance, the hare stands a good chance of being eaten alive. If the scenario was about zombies that ran, Everybody out of the car.
a lot of this book would have to be rewritten. Hollywood definitely took Max Brooks World War Z in a very different direction. By having the zombies chase people down. The author does use the typical viral infection cliche in his book. Of course, he calls it Solanum, the virus. He talks about it. makes it kind of interesting he talks about different locations how to survive what to have what to do towards the back he kind of gets into a bit of history that is fictional of course still a very interesting read I do recommend it because it does have some good tips in regards to surviving, actual survival. But I wouldn't go to this book as a number one survival guide for real situations. Now, funny story I actually do believe in zombies but they are not like in the movies or on TV I had a conversation with my dad about this one day and I told him that zombies were real and we got into a little debate about it and he insisted that it was impossible for a corpse to become reanimated and start eating people. And I told him that I have proof, you know, I can pull up a video and show you that zombies are real. So I went onto YouTube and I showed him definitive proof of actual zombies and when he saw it he couldn't believe his eyes as he watched Black Friday shoppers fighting over various objects that were on sale inside stores he said, oh my god, zombies are real. <laughs> You're right. Zombies are real. Uh, anyways. Back to the book. Although, the book reads like a survival guide. And it isn't that humorous. It is a fun read, and is meant to be just a fun read, so I wouldn't recommend anybody take it too seriously when reading this book. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and God bless.